Hey there ninjas, this is Pegasus177 and you are watching how to be a Black Ops 2 ninja. Today we are looking at the map Raid. Raid is probably one of my favourite maps out of the standards. Um, it's actually based on somebody's house as far as I know. But I'd really like to live in a house like this but uh, I don't think that day has come yet. Anyway, we're going to get cracking on with this. We're going to start off with the A-bomb. Now the A-bomb is kind of in an open spot and it's a sniper's favourite but there are ways to get ninja to fuse here. One spot that I like to use is right in here behind this rock. You're pretty close so you'll be able to hear if anybody plants and any enemy that may come out the window behind you normally jump down over your back without seeing you. The only real danger here is that window up above. That sniper spot is a bit of a danger so just be careful of that. Now another spot that you can use if you want to avoid them snipers, run in here and throw your smoke grenade way out there in front of you. Smoke grenade normally stops enemies in their tracks and they won't come out into the open. This gives you time to jump up here, climb up on this ledge and this is a pretty effective area up here. A lot of enemy won't spot you and if there is a sniper in the room and he's just causing you a bit of grief you can actually go in there and take him out. Now another option is come down here into this little flower bed. This gives you a line of sight into the bomb and you actually blend in here pretty well. The deck chair kind of keeps you guarded as well from enemies line of sight and it's a pretty useful spot. I've used this an awful lot and it's proven pretty effective. It's also a planter's favourite, normally when somebody plants the bomb they like to go in there to watch on it. Another option is to stay short right out here behind these two deck chairs. Most enemies won't come through the water so you're pretty safe there. The water slows them down, they can't run and they're kind of like a rabbit caught in the headlights so they never actually take the risk. One more option is to go into the hot tub here. This would be if the game is after moving on a bit, look straight up with your combat axe out and as you can see you're not pretty visible here. Most enemies actually run past you and onto the bomb without ever noticing you inside here. It's a pretty useful spot and Shane Trains actually pulled this one off in the game so it does work and it can be effective. Now this area over here I don't ever see anyone using it and it's pretty hard to get to. You can actually sneak in here, you just have to be careful about your movements but you can get right in here behind this pot plant and enemy that may come from their own spawn won't see you here, you're actually pretty well concealed and you have a good line of sight into the bomb site area. You'll also hear anybody who may move around in the room over your head. You can even go all the way around the side of this plant and make your way into the bomb site if needs be. Also this pillar down here, I never really see anybody using it. Most enemies stay away from the water because like I said it slows them down and they can't run or move through it quickly. If you're crouched down here, a lot of enemies won't spot you and it can be pretty effective. Now another option is if you have a raid shield and you never really see many using this corner but jump right up here on top of this little wooden bench and even if your raid shield is gold or diamond or bejazzle like my one is, it's it's still pretty effective a lot of enemy don't see you here I can't understand the reasons why but maybe it's the shading or something but a lot of enemy will actually run past you here and onto the bomb site and one last spot for here guys is to lie down right here the only danger here is the window but as you can see the pillar there between the steps kind of covers you up a little bit so you have a bit of cover from this and any enemy that may come down this way in front of you will go onto the bomb site and you can follow him in okay for the B bomb Anywhere inside in this kind of flower bed area is pretty good. You can move in there into the shaded area or stay right out here behind the tree. Behind the tree here gives you a bit more cover and you can still hear if anybody may plant the bomb. My preferred spot is to go over behind this tree right here. At least this way you're right on top of the bomb and you can get right in there nice and quick the second you hear them planting. You can also stash your man up on this flower bed. Anywhere inside the shaded area here is a pretty effective spot to do a statue man. I think it's just kind of the flowers on the wall and the shading of the area. It keeps you pretty well concealed. You can also jump up on this rock behind you and this is also effective. The only problem with this is the sunlight catches your elbow, your right arm elbow, so just be careful of it. Now straight from the start of the game, I normally run right down here behind this rock. It's one of my preferred spots. Most enemy won't come through this floor bed area, they're afraid of being picked off by snipers. If you can get into position here, you're pretty solid on the B-bomb. Most enemy won't spot you, a lot of them will run right along there at the top steps and they won't even see you here. It can be pretty effective, the only danger is you cannot see that window so you won't know if somebody is sniping. 
and if you're really quick off the draw and you get over here at the start of the game this is a pretty effective spot also to pull a statue man because it's in a shaded area again most enemy won't spot you you can see into the bomb site and you'll hear if anybody is in the room and one that i really like as well is to come right down here again lying here is great because you can hear if anybody is in the room on your right and it gives you a bit more concealment than the statue in the corner but you can still see the bomb site and another one that you rarely see you use is to go right up here behind this pillar if you take out your piece of equipment it keeps your body straight and you're kind of all in the shaded area so it can be pretty effective one thing i will say about this spot is that it there's a little bit of risk involved in it it's pretty hard to get here it's pretty tricky and enemy may come up behind you so it's not a guaranteed spot but it is worth trying another option is to come right in here to this flower bed this allows you to look over into the bombsite area it also gives you a bit of cover from the little bits of shrubbery that are around the place if you use shock charges i don't use them but if you do use them it might be worthwhile throwing one out there anywhere out there in front of that van or even maybe a little bit closer right about there this will force enemies to go around the far side of the van and into your line of sight so no one will sneak up on you okay let's get on with a few bomb spots we'll start off with the a bomb you're going to plant right there on that short face and you're going to come up here go through the room look at all that money wish i had that money um you're going to go right through the room up these steps and go all the way over here to this glass panel go on the outside of the glass panel and wedge yourself against the wall and the glass and line a up with the bottom of your screen and when you think that you have it make sure that it's dead center when you think that you have it and you know that they're going to defusing let that combat axe fly and you get a really nice over the top throwing or combat knife nearly said throwing knife but uh, you're going to see it here again in the kill cam it goes right up and over it just misses this little glass frame and comes right down on that short face of the bomb this one is going to be on the B bomb you're going to plant right here on this kind of short corner and you're going to go right back in here to the center crouch down by these steps and let the top of your reticule just touch that leaf and bank it off the corner of the building you'll see it again here in the kill cam the top of the reticule is just touching that leaf and you're aiming for the corner of that building banks off it off the roof and drops right down on top of the bomb it's a pretty sick kill cam to get in game we're going to go back to the a-bomb again and you're going to plant just to the left of the first one just on the corner of that short face we're going to come right back out here again and going to line yourself up with the center of this plant right here aim out sitting your reticule on the green leaf and you're actually banking off the satellite dish you'll see it here again in the kill cam reticule should be sitting inside in that green leaf right about there and it banks off the satellite dish up and over and comes right down on top of the bomb we're going to go back to the b bomb again and this time we're going to plant right there on the long face where i was just lying down and you're going to come right back into this building you're going to aim just there on the black line of the water feature i suppose or architectural feature whatever the hell you want to call it and it'll bank off the cylinder of it and right down into the far long side of the bomb it actually gets a little kick off this little pillar and goes right up and over and into that side of the bomb this one is a bit of a long one you want to plant right there where i had the tack insert and you might want a sniper rifle for this one because your centralization has to be perfect we are going to go all the way back down here to the basketball court right back into this far corner of it and when you get over here look straight up and using your sniper reticule line B up with the dead center of the reticule right about there hold your breath and then swap out your combat axe and when you know that they're defusing say they broke your attack insert just let it go this is a really really nice one it's one of my favorite ones on this map and you'll see it again here in the kill cam and you'll see why i like it so much this one goes right up and over banks off the building and comes right down on top of that short face of the bomb 
so that's it for this episode guys next up we have slums and that will be coming to you on sunday uh we are after starting an elite clan so if you want to join just message me and uh i'll send you out an invite don't forget to follow us on facebook and twitter and we will be launching our website pretty soon guys it'll be up and running fairly soon so thanks for watching as always if you like the video please leave a like it really helps me out uh don't really know what else to say but uh Hope this is helping you out. Thanks for watching and peace.